hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am sharing with you a project that is very interesting for me very useful so over here i have tried to create a super chatbot and uh, in this chatbot i will be able to talk to multiple llms not at the same time but um, you know choosing which one to go for and i can um, chat with that particular llm because shifting to different interfaces that these llms uh, have for free uh, becomes a bit bit arky so i decided to create my own interface through which i can chat with all of them using the api key or other credentials that are available let me quickly give you a glimpse of it so over here this is the chatbot how it looks like so over here i have selected olama which is running on my local and using that i can i i mean in olama i can load any of the open source models right uh, not any but whatever is available through olama models okay i have given it a question give me a strategy today for data processing for data warehousing it has given me an answer now often when we are trying to work on different um, projects we find the uh, necessity to you know compare the response of different models and uh, decide that which one to go for or if it, if there is a requirement for a multi multi llm uh, based project where you have multiple agents working on different llms then also we uh, need to you know decide on such things that which llm to do uh, or go for for which of the um, task so this gives a a consolidated platform so unified llm chat or super chatbot whatever you call it over here uh, it is simple um, you have the option to select your temperature for the model and then you can select so this is uh, i have phi 3 loaded in my ulama right now running over here this is the response it has given let me go to aws i mean just a quick switch and then paste the same question right and see how the outcome comes in so yeah this is the output quite detailed and uh, uh, you know having all the bullet points of good strategy now if i want to see how uh, chat gpt 4o will respond to this same question let's see I have just switched to Azure because over here I have the credential for that um, to check out the model output. So that's another output we have. Then again, I can go to Gemini. And check out the output from Google. yeah so there is the output so this way you can have a quick uh, one interface to talk to any of the llms and uh, uh, compare the results for the query that you have right so it's very handy and very useful at least for me if you find it interesting let me know and uh, the code is as usual always available on github i will share the link in the description you can get it from there and um, yeah if you like the channel and the content of my my channel please subscribe to the channel and like this video now let's dive into the um code a very very um very easy and simple one over here we have a streamlit interface with the sidebar where i have the uh, option to choose the um this thing mm, the temperature the with a slider over here i have these models uh, listed so this is nothing but you know a way to select which uh, environment variables i am going to choose because the environment variables will contain the um, credentials right so over here i have let me show you one two three four five six of the environment variables which are nothing but dot uh, env files so i have named them according to the um, llm so if it is gemini 4o aws etc olama so 
when when the user is choosing any of the uh, options that you s have just seen in the left hand side accordingly that particular script is being called so we have multiple aws main azure main gemini main so main be, uh, is the uh, script where the you know connecting to the uh, the llm api is um, being created so this is where i'm calling the respective um, script then the usual chat interface from streamlit and now if we go to aws main it is uh, the credentials then i have a place for choosing the model and um, i mean defining the model over here then this is how you connect and get the response pass your question and get the response from AWS um, using the bedrock so you need to have all those created I'm not going into the detail of how to creating a uh, bedrock account and uh, activate your bedrock service in a AWS account so similarly over here in Azure I have uh, I have used Azure chat open AI to um, call the LLM with the question and get the response which I am showing back then over here for Gemini I am using Langchain and um, this is how you define the uh, model temperature and then call the LLM and get back the response similarly for Olama this is where the Olama uh, is running the address of the Olama so you can have it in your machine or in any other machine running Olama with GPU or without GPU. Uh, the temperature, model name and um, yeah, I have the environment variables over here. That's it, quite few uh, sample and they are all you know, uh, kind of wrapped up in the, in the UI script which is serving the, um, serving the models to the through the interface that's it if you like it uh, please like and if you have any query leave it in the comment and i will try to respond thanks for your time bye bye